This is the children's Sunday school, children and youth Sunday school lesson for November the 13th in the year 2022. It comes from Acts 16. It is the second missionary journey, part one. We'll start with the memory verse. It comes from Acts 2.38. Repent. That means stop going the direction you're going and go the other direction. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name, that's in the power of, in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Dear Father God, help us to understand how Paul ended up with Silas and ended up in Philippi and um, what happened with Lydia. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I have a granddaughter named Lydia, and this is the story about Lydia, a different Lydia. Um, Paul and Barnabas took those letters, remember the letters that came from the leaders in Jerusalem, they took them back to the church in Antioch, and oh, everybody was really excited that people didn't have to become Jews in order to be Christians. And after they stayed there and worked for a while, Paul said to Barnabas, hey, let's go on a second journey. We'll go to all of the churches that we started on the first journey, and we'll go down to Cyprus, then we'll do the same churches over again, and we'll encourage the believers and see how their faith is growing. Let's do it. And Paul Bar Barnabas says, yes, let's do it. I'll get in touch with John Mark right away. Paul said, not John Mark. We're not taking your nephew this time. Last time we got in Pamphylia and he went back home again. He's just too young to go on a mission trip. Oh, he's got to go with us. This is how kids learn is if they come along. Nope, he can't come. Yes, he can come. No, he can't come. And they fought with each other. They argued back and forth. So in the end, Barnabas took John Mark and went to the island of Cyprus. And that's where they did their work. And we don't hear any more about them, except we know that Barnabas was a very strong Christian and that John Mark became so much like Jesus that he ended up writing the book of Mark in our Bible. So it was a good thing that they went and did that work together. Paul took with him someone that had come from Jerusalem when they brought those letters, and his name was Silas. And he went to the churches that had already been started up in um, like Lystra and Iconium and Pisidian Antioch. He went to those churches and encouraged them, saw how the pastors were doing in the churches, um, sang with them, taught them a little bit more. And while he was up there, he came into the town of Lystra again. Remember Lystra, where they tried to stone him, where they did stone him and thought that he was dead. Came to the town of Lystra and he met there a young man whose name was Timothy. And Timothy wanted to join and be a missionary with Paul and Silas. But there was one problem. His mother was a Jew and his father was Greek. And Paul thought that it would be a problem. So what he did is he made Timothy first become a Jew so that he was a Jewish believer, not just a believer. And he took him with him. So from now on, when Paul and Silas are going someplace, Timothy is with them. So they went to all those churches and they encouraged those churches. And then they came to a place called Asia. And they wanted to go down into Asia and talk to those people about Jesus. But the Holy Spirit said, no, you can't go down there. Paul said, what? Holy Spirit said, no, you can't go. So um, they found themselves staying in a town, trying to figure out where they were supposed to go next. And Paul had a vision. A vision is like Peter did. Remember Peter saw that big sheet come down with the animals in it? It's like a being awake um, dream, a dream while you're awake. And he saw this vision. And in this vision, there was this man from Macedonia who was saying, hey, come over here and help us. Come over here and help us. And so when he called, Paul said, 
Okay, I think this is the Holy Spirit calling us. So they got on a ship and they went over to Macedonia. And the town that they landed in was a town called Philippi. It was a Roman colony and it didn't have enough Jews there to have a synagogue. So the first week, they just kind of hung out and then they figured out that there was probably people who worshiped God down by the river. So on the Sabbath day, they went down to the river to see if there was anybody to worship God. And there were some women down there worshiping God. And so they sat down by the women and they talked to the women about Jesus and how Jesus says you need to turn from your sin and start following him. And the women believed. One of the women was named Lydia and she was a seller of purple, which purple um, fabric, purple cloth was um, made from crushed little sea creatures and it was very expensive to make. So she probably had money. So she was a seller of purple who had moved there from Thyatira and she was a worshiper of God anyways. And when she heard about Jesus dying on the cross, she said, I want Jesus to take away my sins too. And so Paul led her and they went down into the water and he baptized not only her, but her whole family and all of her servants, everybody who worked for her, her whole household all got baptized on that day. And then when she came out of the water, she's probably pretty wet. And she said, Paul, Timothy, Silas and Luke, Dr. Luke, who's writing the story, has joined them now. Why don't you guys come and stay at our house? We have a pretty big house and we could take four extra people at our house. And so Paul and Silas and Dr. Luke and Timothy all went to stay at her house. And the story gets pretty exciting on Wednesday, so don't miss that part. Okay, let's do it again. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Dear Father God, Lydia found Jesus, or did you find her? She became a believer. She was baptized, and the first thing she said was, come and stay at our house. We have room. Help us to be those kind of people. In Jesus' name, amen.